My name is Daniel Madelon, and I actually fell into the, to the bail bond industry in uh, around 2003. If you go back to the beginning, obviously the, the name A Second Chance obviously symbolizes my, my story, my history, how I came to Atlanta through my struggles. A Second Chance is obviously bigger than bail bonds. Helping people and giving back to the community and, and plays a huge role in, in kind of the story of, of how this whole thing has evolved. Definitely had some poor decision-making skills early on as a kid living in South Florida and Miami. Battled substance abuse for, for the early part of my uh, late teens and went through a multitude of drug rehabs, um, substance abuse issues from opiates and, um, and amphetamines and, and things of that nature. Pretty much anything I could get my hands on. Multiple treatment centers, failed attempts, uh, detoxes, basically just a very hard case um, to crack. The recommendations by the doctors was to come to Talbot Recovery Campus in Atlanta for long-term extended treatment, which I was open to at that point. I had kind of reached the, the end of the road on many levels, relationships, family, um, you know, everything. It pretty much I'd burned every bridge at that point. Was at Talbot Recovery Campus and spent nine months in treatment. After I completed that program, then I moved into apartment inside uh, in, in Atlanta in Buckhead after that with a roommate. The first job I had was at the Hawthorne Suites, which isn't even there anymore. Had to walk to the Martyr Station, took the train, Limburg Station, out to Peachtree, then took the bus down Peachtree, down by, to the Shepherd Center, just to get to work, to work the front desk at this Hawthorne Suites Hotel. It's better than being down at Talbot Recovery Campus in College Park, you know living with four people in a, in a rehab center. When I originally started it, it was my wife and I. Um, I we had just bought our first house, barely could afford the house. It was a $200,000 cookie cutter house in Woodstock. Had Comcast come install a phone line in a, in a little small guest bedroom in the house and plugged the phone in for the first time, forwarded it to a cell phone, and, and that was the business, was the cell phone have an office at the beginning. I had to, I used, used the Quick Trip gas station. Uh, the, they used to have copy machines inside the Quick Trip gas station and I'd have to pay, you know, 10 cents a copy or whatever it was inside the Quick Trip gas station. And then I'd have to wait on the defendants to actually come outside of the jail. So you'd sign the bond and I'd be waiting in my car literally middle of the night, you know, for the defendant to come out for like a hundred bucks, you know, just to just to make that little bit of money. That's just what it was in the beginning, you know. It was it was just me, myself, and I. To think of where we are now is just it's it's, it's incredible, you know. It's um it's it's kind of mind blowing actually. Our people here at a second chance and the people that we help in the community, it's that's what it's about for me. That's what brings me gratitude and, and happiness, and that's that's what I do it for. Um, and I think that's what's made the success and the progression of a second chance so, you know, so powerful is that because we've been able to get out there and really put our money where our mouth is, that that's what's allowed us to, to grow and succeed at the, at the levels that we have.